Back in Oakland, just moments away from the Raiders and the Bears on a 65-degree afternoon. Caleb Haney gets his first start today. Boy, and it brings back memories. I can remember my first start. I had butterflies, nervousness, and I was only a defense alignment. I can only imagine what he must feel like as a quarterback. Listen, the biggest thing that the Raiders can do today is take away his security blanket, and that's the run game. If they get that done, that spotlight that's on Haney can quickly become the hot seat. Three wide receivers set, third down and four for Carson Palmer and the Raiders. Palmer's pass to the near side intended for Hayward Bay. So the Raiders will send out Sebastian Janikowski on the field goal unit. But still a good opening drive by the Raiders. Surprised to see them come out, be aggressive with that downfield throw. And there's a little bit of that inconsistency, the stall in the drive once you get down near the red zone. And able to run the ball, pass the ball. We didn't think we were going to see this against this Bears defense. 40-yard attempt. This is a chip shot for Janikowski from the left hash. Just inside the left upright. 3-0 Raiders. Chicago Bears start from their own 23-yard line. Two tight end set. Forte in the backfield. The handoff to that Forte. And he is wrapped up back at the 20-yard line by Aaron Curry. Loss of three on the play. Shane Leckler back at his own 15-yard line. Devin Hester back deep for Chicago. Hester bothered by ankle and shin problems as of late. Penalty marker as Hester is down at the 26. The Oakland Raiders have been one of the most penalized teams, if not the most penalized team, several times. Play clock at one. Bears get the snap away. Play action. Haney moving to his right. And then he is picked off. Intercepted at the 32-yard line. Down at the bottom of the pile. It is Stanford Route who comes up with his third pick of the season. Who picks up his seventh sack of the season. Now a 47-yard attempt for Janikowski from the left hash. He hit from 40 yards out earlier. Janikowski's kick, just like the first one, just inside the left upright. So the Raiders capitalize on the takeaway, now lead 6-0. In second down and seven, Roy Williams in motion. From the 35, Haney again moving to his right. And he was forced out of bounds by Rolando McClain. Made that decision a little bit too late, though, Kenny. Loss of eight on the play. Bears empty the backfield, third down and 15. As Haney is picked off for the second time, it is Michael Huff. And Huff takes it all the way back to the 43-yard line. His second interception of the season. Second pick thrown by Haney in this first quarter. Well, this is going to be one of the more enjoyable matchups to watch. Shane Leckler, the best punter in the NFL against Devin Hester, the best returner. And you know nobody wants to back down. Hester with an NFL record 12 career punt return touchdowns. Angled away from Hester by Leckler. What a punt. Out of bounds at the three-yard line. So now Sebastian Janikowski, who has hit from 40 and 47 yards out today, will attempt a 42-yard field goal from the right hash. Leckler places it down. Janikowski is three for three. So the Raiders regain the lead. Thanks in large part to that 47-yard catch and run by the fullback, Marcel Reese. It's down 9-7 Oakland. So it's now second and one from the six. Following the penalty, Roy Williams in motion. Haney 
looks left, and it is picked off. Initially deflected by Curry, it is Cameron Wimbley. He's inside the 40, the 20, still on his feet, and he is finally dragged down by Lance Lewis and a couple of late flags. Could be a horse collar. You're flirting with the opportunity to, to give away points right here and give the Bears a ton of momentum going in at halftime. Well, if you're the Bears defensive backs, you got to go and press as much as possible and try to go and you know, delay this ball coming out as much as possible. I mean, and as a defensive lineman, get your hands up. You know that ball's got to come out quick. You're not going to have time to go and rush the passer or make a move on the line of scrimmage. You got to go, bull rush, get your hands up, and hopefully try to tip a ball. Recognize the wide split on the field, knowing that the receiver is going to want to come inside. Looks like he's changing his mind here, Dow. He's going to kick the field goal. I agree with I you, I think Tony. that's a great move by Hugh Jackson. You've had that's a lot smart. of opportunities to really kind of separate in the first half here, and you haven't been able to do it. The Bears' defense has responded when the offense has had turnovers. The last thing you want to go into halftime with is only with a two-point lead because you gave away points at the end of the half. Now, remember, it was Chicago who called timeout, which gave Jackson... Some extra time to think about it. So it's a 19-yard attempt. Janikowski is three for three in this first half. From the right hash. Leckler places it down. Janikowski's kick is good. So Mastin Janikowski with his fourth field goal of the First half, Raiders send out the field goal unit. Well, somebody missed Henry Melton inside and turned him loose right to Carson Palmer, so he had to get rid of that ball earlier than he wanted. So another impressive drive by the Raiders fizzles, and we're going to have another field goal attempt. Janikowski, four for four today. This a 37-yard attempt. Raiders third trip into the red zone. Kept out of the end zone once again. Janikowski now five for five. Tying his career high with five field goals this afternoon. Quick response to that throw right there. Second and ten. Off the play fake. Haney stays on his feet and now goes down. Back at the 21-yard line. Tyvon Branch with his first sack this season. Hester back deep, awaiting the punt from Leckler. And over it, kick, forcing Hester all the way back to the 10. Hester up the sideline. A terrific coverage downfield following the 54-yard punt. A return of only four yards. Third down and 10. Just to spin away from Wembley. Down he goes, and there is a flag. So Janikowski, who is 5-for-5 five five today, has already tied a franchise record with five successful field goals. This will be a 44-yard attempt. Bears keep the Raiders out of the end zone once again. Janikowski... Knocks it straight through, and that is a Raiders franchise record. Six field goals in one game. Janikowski now six for six. And the Raiders now lead 18-7. Kevin Hester back deep. Oakland leading by eight. Thanks to six Sebastian Janikowski field goals. Leckler punted from his own 10-yard line. What a kick. Came into this game with the best punting average in the league. And this one will bounce into the end zone. That is an 80-yard punt. That looks like a new jugs machine. New oh. franchise record, guys. Franchise record, 80-yard punts by Leckler. First and goal from the Bears, three. Palmer hands it off to Bush, and he takes it in for a Raiders touchdown.
This is just a group that knows exactly what you're going to do. The Bears defense knows that they want to run it in and watch the job that Oakland's front does. Watch the hole that they create. I mean, Darrell, me, I don't want to say me and you, but I could have probably ran through that hole. What an unbelievable job. You're right by that offensive line. Michael Bush knew exactly where he was going. What about me, Goose? Kenny, you would have had a hard time. That hole would have closed up by the time you would have got there, yeah, probably. I would agree. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Janikowski with the extra point. Raiders score their first touchdown today, and they score in the fourth quarter for the first time in their last six games. As Caleb Haney, who owned a Moose Johnston jersey as a youngster growing up in the Dallas area, steps up to the line, throwing by 12, first and 10 from the 16. After a pump fake, and he throws, and Rolando McClain was right there climbing up the back of Matt Forte. He boomed an 80-yarder into the end zone earlier with a net of 60. That was a new franchise record. So now Leckler will punt it away. Hester only seven yards on two punt returns so far today. Bears will get the ball back with no timeouts remaining, trailing by five. High snap. Good job by Leckler to get the pump away. And it rolls. Will it stay out of the end zone? Yes. Brian McCann sprinting downfield to keep the football from rolling into the end zone. It's the, look like the fake spike Dan Marino play for a moment, and now a flag is thrown. Call for intentional grounding. Ten second runoff. The ball game is over. What an ending. Unbelievable. The Raiders win it 25-20. We'll return to Oakland right after these messages.